All right, Dre, what's your problem, bro? What is my problem? You're going crazy. I'm going crazy. Actual so, crazy. I told Dre about if you ordered a colored expansion pad uh, yesterday, four or five random people will get a gift. One of them is going to be one of these things, right? Which I really like and customers really like. So you can spray aftershave on with the UV and it's a nice mist. I'm going to put 20 bucks into one of them. Remember, it's $45 for, for one of these expansion pads. Somebody's going to get 20 bucks cash. Somebody's going to get atomizer and then... Yeah, tell them. Tell them what's, tell them what's This good. one's crazy. Yeah. Somebody's going to get a brand new skeleton with the graphite blade. Like, that's a crazy one. And somebody's going to get a razor handle. And then we might do one more, like a cape or something like that. Whoever's getting this uh, skeleton or this, they're going to be happy. I think they are. You think they're going to be happy? Yeah, I would take the 20 bucks, though. <laughs> Shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for whoever ordered called expansion pads. We appreciate all the support. And make sure you tag us when you get your expansion pad because we want to see, you know, what everybody's setups look like. Vlog, I want you guys to see really, really cool letter. I'm not going to show name, but really cool letter from... A 13 year old who say he started cutting hair at 11 and he's doing a school project and he's doing it on me and my business, man. And I thought it was really cool. So writing him a letter back, sending him some, some stuff. I'm gonna send him a book. I'm gonna send him some new clippers and I'm gonna give him access to my online academy for a year. So that this 13 year old barber has the resources and the tools to accomplish all his dreams. Look at the warehouse. It looks good to me. Donna don't like all this product in here, but it looks good. <laughs> man you guys i feel good man i, I feel like i, I want to expand on that i want to think about it and try to translate it and get kind of my feelings across to, to somebody right and to you guys so if you're watching this this is my attempt of translating and getting my feelings across to you guys or to you if you're watching this i'm talking to you when i first started in this industry over 11 years ago we're going on 12 years now 12 years in this industry when i first started it was it was awesome it was cool but there was just so much unknowns i feel like there was a lot of unknown things there was a lot of the same things it was just fundamentals were fundamentals and not very many people were exploring beyond that i feel like today the industry is so much different than it than it was 12 years ago like a lot different drastically different like between social media, between technology, and how much barbers are making these days, and and how much more business savvy, especially this this wave of barbers who's so interested in learning and getting better, proving people wrong about about choosing barbering as a profession, right? It's so dope to see, man. It's it's everything that I wanted to see in the in the industry, and why I focus so much on teaching people how to cut hair, on teaching people what a successful barber looks like, much more beyond just cutting hair, but the mindset right the mindset and pushing barbers to be ambitious and, and want to raise the bar and it was a season especially in the last few years where i was trying to find my new purpose in this industry because i felt like the industry had grown so much not because of because of me but collectively all the leaders in this industry are, have done a great job of improving barbering but i'm looking at the industry and the climate now that it's in especially the last few years i was just trying to almost rediscover myself and my purpose in this industry and the value that i could provide and and so i kind of i'm not gonna say i pivoted but i started to expand on the things that i would the topics that i would cover my ambitions and i raised the level of goals that i wanted to accomplish if you would have told me 12 years ago where i'd be today because of barbering i wouldn't have believed you it, it's just it didn't ex even exist there's so much more room we're just getting started lately my purpose has been to to share that with people and to get people excited about that fact we need more people doing the same things and thinking the same way and pushing the limits and the boundaries of, of what this profession can do. In order to do that, you gotta be willing to think outside the box. You gotta be willing to put in the damn work, right? And you gotta have, be able to you know, build the, the team and, and be willing to help people and be a selfless, giving um, source of information and value to people. I truly believe in that. There was a time, especially when I, I mean, you guys can probably relate, right? You're in barber school, you're watching YouTube videos, you're staying, you can't sleep, you're staying up late nights because you want to get that fade better. You want to be able to tackle that texture. You want to get your shear work better. So you're obsessed, you're trying to learn, you're trying to get better. And then what's next once you accomplish those things, right? And for the first like 
eight, nine, ten years of my career, I felt that way. And then I hit like this roadblock where for a couple years I'm just like in discovery mode. Last night, we went live last night on Instagram for like three hours. And I was just like, and just asking questions. And I remember getting all that off that live stream, getting a little bit more work done. And it's like almost midnight and I walk into the bedroom. My wife's getting ready to go to bed. I just told her, I'm like, I haven't felt this way in a while. I haven't felt so excited like this in a while. And I finally feel that way, guys. Like I'm feeling that way again. If I feel like a kid, like a kid, bro. I feel like a kid finally finding his passion and the profession that, that was going to help him accomplish all his goals. That's how I feel right now, man. I'm so excited about this year, about next year, about 2023. I am working a lot. I've always been working a lot, especially the last few years. I've been working a lot the, the past few years, working a lot, but now the work, it's all necessary, right? It's all necessary. But now the work is just so fulfilling, man. I don't know if I translated my feelings so that you guys could understand or feel me, but I look at this as like, um, it's like my journal. It's like my diary vlogging. And it's, it's you know, my kids will watch this one day. My kids' kids will watch this one day, I think, maybe, you know? But yeah, I just wanted to share how I'm feeling right now. And with all that being said, I'm going to Wawa because I've been hooked on their like steak panini. I shouldn't be eating it, but. We're gonna eat. I got a call at three o'clock, and then I got a meeting at four o'clock to get some work done, some content, and some stuff that I need to get done for the company. Tonight we have a mentorship meeting for um, our newest group of mentees. Tonight my night won't be done till like eleven o'clock, and I got started early this morning. I'm loving it. So this is what I was talking about: panini's bold flavor. This one right here, that onion cheesesteak. Oh my god, and I customize it. I get the mozzarella instead, the peppers, the salt. That's what I want. This is my order. So try that. Let me know what you think about it. Comment on this video after you've tried it. Let me know if it's a, if it's a hit or miss. You gotta get water because I'm trying to be a little bit healthy. Nah, bro. This is so good. It's busting, man. Not good for you, but it's busting. All right, so yesterday I, I totally forgot to, to continue to vlog, but I got a lot done after the barbershop. Tested some things, tested some, some new products. Then I had a meeting, and then after the meeting, came home, had another meeting, and then we ended the night probably like at midnight. Or right, now I'm back in the office, and I wake up to Danny giving away free capes with any order. People were buying stickers for a dollar and getting a free cape that we just launched with it. So I'm trying to show Danny how businesses actually are supposed to work. They're supposed to make money, not give away all their products, especially new products we just launched. It makes no sense. Yeah, the plan is to get into the shop, custom here, and then we got some more work we gotta get done, so. I'm here in Best Buy because I need to get a better microphone, a better live mic. When I'm doing my tutorials now, what I like to do is actually give you guys a live voiceover. That one mic that I got was cool, but it wasn't great. And so I stopped using and I tried just using my, my phone microphone and this was picking up everything. So it's, it's just time to, to buy something better. What's crazy is I got a, a really expensive lob that Fonz spent all my money to buy. Shout out to Fonz. But the problem with that thing is that it takes time to set it up. And I need something quick. I need something simple. And of course, what I came here for is not here, even though on the website it says in stock. I can't wait. All right, so this was recommended, highly recommended by Bandal Georgie. We got it, bro. We got the Rode Wireless Go microphones. So these tutorials should be should be popping. The other one was cool, but um, this has a lot better reviews. So this might be a case of you get what you pay for. All right, I'm at a light, so we're gonna do this unboxing now. It comes with all the cables, which I went and bought the cable for the iPhone, the adapter. So I bought that for no reason. It comes with a pouch, I guess, to carry everything. Here's all the microphones. This is gonna be cool because I could put one near my customer. I don't know, the packaging could have been a little sweeter, but this is cool because it comes with two microphones so I could put one near my client who would be talking to me and one on me, on myself. All right, pulling in. Gotta get my keys because this guy trying to play a joke on me. They don't know I got keys. Locking the door on me. Hold on. Yo, playing too much. Hey, stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing with me. All right, guys, so, I mean, this is... This is the iPhone mic, all right? Now we're gonna put the Rode mic. All right, this is the Rode mic. 
He's got the music way too loud, so I'm gonna get uh, copyright. So look, now there's a mic on my on my client. Go ahead, talk, Shane. Hey, you, Chris. <laughs> Thanks. Chris was an hour and a half late for this haircut. <laughs> Let the people know. All right, man, take it easy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cut with these. Let's see how it does with both. There we go, guys. I would say that the Rebels cut. The Rebels definitely cut better than these, I would say. Before everybody comments, I know I'm going bald. <laughs> it wasn't even going to say nothing. Bro, they say it every video. They say it every time? Every time. You need to just let it go, man. Very upsetting. I, I honestly, I think, I think you got a point. I think the people need to see this side of, of barbering. Well, the tutorials, like, you are showing you're being vulnerable here, letting me record you, and they're just gonna go state Captain Obvious. Like, you don't need to hear all that, right? Pretty much. So, is there anything you wanna say to the haters? I hope you get arthritis in your thumbs. <laughs> yeah, uh, the fast music cutting really nice through here. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this cut with the fast beats. And just so y'all know, uh, uh, dog Shannon, S Craft Lizen, he bought these, the other version, which has a different blade that I need to clean. I really don't see a problem with these, man. They're cutting through bulk really nicely. I feel like they cut the way fast beats are supposed to. Yeah. I'm just, by the way, guys, I'm using the microphone. Shane is using the micro microphone. I wonder if it's picking up the clipper sound pretty good. I'm gonna cut with the apexes. I'm just gonna use the blade open. Smooth cut. Definitely no bogging. Definitely no pulling. But they're heavy. They're really heavy. These are probably, these gotta be the heaviest clippers on the market right now. But I still don't think they're heavier than the recorded masters. Now I got them all the way closed. They're cutting pretty nice. Took out that line fairly quickly. Um, I would say if you're okay with a little bit less power, more weight, better build quality, you go with these. If you want something lighter, more power, um, but louder, less of a build quality, go with the Rebels. That's my that's my final review on the Stylecraft Apex. Yeah, it's a little too deep. I feel like if, if most of my business was like St. Pete or something, that makes sense. Or like in that area. But you know, if you're Wesley Chapel, New Tampa, Brandon, makes no sense. And then I have not heard the audio on these. You guys let me know if the audio sounds good in the comments. First time I'm gonna hear the audio is once I upload the video later tonight. Please let me know what you guys think about this audio. Is it better? If not, I can always buy another lav that connects to this to improve the sound quality. We pretty much reviewed these fast feeds, the new fast feeds, um, the black and silver fast feeds, and the apex all in this video, y'all. Yeah.